leaders of the eight East African community member states have been challenged to work towards lifting barriers in order to promote free trade, improve regional integration, and facilitate free movement of their people within the region. In terms of policy formulation, but implementation and domestication of the gospel of regional integration needs to be actualized. And this is only when the young people are empowered, when the young people are supported, this is when we can be able to realize that dream. Speaking in Butiama, Mwanza, Tanzania, to commemorate the East African community's 25th anniversary, Dr. Ronex Kisembo Tendo, CEO Africa Mashariki Fest, emphasized that regional integration and promotional of principles of the late Mwalim Julius Nyerere, the founder of ESC, will remain a pipe dream until the respective national leaders remove current interstate barriers. It is very disturbing to see that East Africa as a region has failed to sit down and agree to field a single team for the East African community as a region. When we were in Brazil during the 2016 Olympics, we had a Ugandan in the names of Stephen Kiprotic, who was a defending champion of the marathon. And during that time, Eliud Kipchoge from Kenya won the marathon. We had a moment as East Africans to hold the East African flag when we were being given the medal and we celebrated it as a region. The youths are requesting cooperation in a number of sectors including national airlines, tourism promotion, sports representation at international events like the Olympic Games and the return of usage of a shared currency. Kiongozi mmoja ambaye namsikia kila wakati anazungumzia kuhusu jumuiya na kuimarisha jumuiya na kupiga hatua kufikia haswa jumuiya malengo yote ya jumuiya ni Rais Museveni. Ndio namsikia mara kwa mara. Lakini labda viongozi wengine sijui kwa kutu, kama hivyo nimetaja changamoto baadhi ya changamoto ambazo nafikiri wa Tanzania wanaziona wengine kidogo yote inategemea kiongozi yote inategemea kiongozi alipokuepo e, kabla haja hatujakuwa na rais magufuli hapa ilikuwa unaona kama unaendesha gari barabarani alafu unaona kibao kimesema speed limit ni kilomita hamsini. ah wengi tulikuwa tunapita tu lakini alipokuja magufuli akaamua kwamba aa hivi vitu lazima tu kila mtu lazima afuate sasa hivi utashangaa watu wengi sasa wanaheshimu wana, wana hizo hizo taratibu kwa hiyo mara nyingi nafikiria mtu mtu mmoja tu kubadilisha mambo na ya ka, na watu wengine wote wakafuata so we had two phases the first phase which collapsed which had three nations which was Tanzania Kenya and Uganda and now we have a second phase we are trying to create an environment whereby the people themselves have got power and they play an instrumental role towards its development in order not to have a reoccurrence of downfall and accumulation of ignorances which were the uh, the, 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 the so stated rather if i should call them causatives uh, of uh, its uh, downfall in the first regime. Now, our theme as uh, East African Festival, and I being part of it, uh, is that we as the youth uh, in the uh, East African Festival, as Pan-Africanists, we call upon uh, the youth, and our intention is to involve the youth uh, in this generation, not only in East Africa, for this is just the beginning, but rather we are to reach the world at large and operate the global point of it. How? In the Trinitarian uh, aspect of the social, economic and the political outlook. Politically, the youth have a voice to reshape that which was not done within the first regime of the East African community. Now, in the new phase of the East African festival, the, 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 the aspect uh, which was uh, mainly targeted to be unity, however much it might operate, we have got different ethnic communities in Africa and in East Africa, but uh, we can still have pluralism of culture operating in the central operant uh, perspective of uh, unity in diversity. That is what we want. Jamii nyingi za, za Tanzania 
na tulipata uhuru wa katule Tanganyika zilikuwa zinaishi kijamaa. Jamii ya kabila la Wazanaki ambao mwalimu alitoka na yenyewe ilikuwa ina ujamaa wake wa asili. Kwa mfano, kama kuna familia ambayo ilikuwa ni maskini lakini ina binti familia ambayo ni tajiri ilikuwa inashawishiwa kwenda kumuoa yule binti ili familia nayo ile ipate utajiri wa ngombe kwa sababu mahali ilikuwa ni ilikuwa ni ngombe lakini vile vile kama kuna kuna kuna, kuna jamii ambayo ina ngombe wengi inakamua maziwa ngombe ya, maziwa yale yalikuwa ni kwa jamii yote kwa kama mtoto amezaliwa kwenye familia nyingine ambayo hawana ngombe alikuwa anaruhusiwa kwenda kuchukua maziwa kwenye jamii ambayo inakamua nini inakamua maziwa free of charge bure kabisa bila malipo kwa mwalimu alikuzwa kwenye misingi hiyo ya ujamaa kwa na yeye akaona kwamba sasa nimeshakuwa rais wa nchi nadhani mfumo mzuri wa kuendesha maisha yetu tuwe ni ujamaa ni kweli kuna mabadiliko mbalimbali yametokea tunasema bado nchi yetu ni ujamaa tuna bado tunafuata sera ya ujamaa na kujitegemea lakini in a modern way imekuwa modernized something else which i want to conclude with is the level of commitment from the leadership at strategic level i am privileged that every year once summit sessions happen in arusha i attend them and i sponsor myself to attend these summits but we are gradually seeing a decline first of all in the attendance of our honorable heads of state and number two when you look at the entire arrangement of how the east african community secretariat is being run a lot needs to be changed and the time is now we are here as young people guided by the senior citizens we have in our midst to make our demands clear on paper and as we close this session we are going to have a mutiama accord a declaration from young people where we are putting our demands on paper and we shall submit this to the summit to demand a clear direction of the integration agenda finally i want to call upon uh, my brothers finally i want to call upon my brothers and sisters from the partner states of east africa we are coming, we are marking 25 years since the east african community was revived in this united republic of tanzania no east african can access this country without a passport now this leaves so many questions to be answered if i'm a ugandan or a kenyan and i want to go for a vacation in zanzibar and i have my 200 dollars why do i have to be punished to first process a passport for me to access the united republic of tanzania or the republic of burundi and others the republic the democratic republic of congo is a member of the east african community we as ugandans and other east africans for example I talk about ugandans we continue to pay visas to access the drc congo yet they access our country without paying a penny we need to have a candid discussion around this journey because we call it a dream we call it our future when we meet his excellence our president president Chirika Kutam 7 he says this is a matter of survival it's a matter of life and death this is our future what deliberate efforts have we put in place to see that we actualize the vision and aspirations of our founding fathers leo kimetokea nini kinachotokea sasa hivi inaonekana kama Tanzania ndio ndio iko nyuma hatua ya nyuma zaidi kuliko 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 nchi nyingine na mimi nafikiri sababu kuna mtu aliniuliza jana sababu nafikiri wa Tanzania wana wana, wana wasiwasi kwamba wao Tanzania ina ardhi kubwa sana Kenya labda inafuatia na Uganda lakini huko nafikiri hizo nchi nyingine zina matatizo kidogo zaidi ya, ya ardhi kuliko sisi na kuna hofu kwamba unajua tukiruhusu ikiwa wazi kila mtu sasa zingine mtakuja hapa mtachukua shamba langu <laughs> eka tano tu. <laughs> Kwa hiyo nafikiri hofu kubwa ya Tanzania ni Na hofu hofu nyingine ambayo inajua unaona pale nilikuwa na watania nasema wa Tanzania ku tukiongea Kiingereza kichwa kinauma. Hofu nyingine kwa wa Tanzania mimi nafahamu. Wana wasiwasi kwamba e, baadhi ya kazi ambazo wanafanya zinaweza zikachukuliwa na na majirani zetu. 
kwa hiyo sio kwa sababu ya Kiingereza lakini labda kwa sababu ya uzoefu tofauti wa kazi na na elimu The Butiama Accord which was signed in Mwanza Tanzania will require all the East African Community Head of States from all the eight nations to sign in order to compel the elimination of current obstacles to regional integration. Kwa hiyo bado masuala ya amani hatujamwenzi mwalimu vizuri kwenye masuala ya amani na umoja. Bado tuimarishe umoja kwa sababu kwa na umoja basi amani itakuepo. Kwa hiyo jumuiya Afrika Mashariki viongozi wa jumuiya Afrika Mashariki kwa kweli ni waombe wafanye kile inavyowezekana kufanyike mazungumzo ya haraka sana ya kutatua ile migogoro inayoendelea kule mashariki mwa nchi ya Kongo DRC. We want you to come and sell your goods from Kenya. We as the youth, we not want people to live in the speculations of boundaries which have got no meaning so far. They could have been meaningful during the immediate post independent time, but not at this very present generation. I don't see why a Somali wouldn't come and sell whatever he or she has. I wouldn't mind going to Sudan and interacting with the youth in Somali for the betterment of of of, of two of us or rather all the part, the parties which are involved in it. This is integrity, this is virtue, this is value which the youth must embrace.